<clears throat> oh, good morning. Welcome to December. <laughs> Slept in a little bit because I knew the sun wouldn't be coming up. Um, it's December now. Welcome back to the old Polish farm. Let me get my coffee here so I can get going. Oh, hot. That's good. Oh, that pot came out pretty good. So, I feel a little bad about not getting more done in November. We just kind of got Pat's potato harvest done uh, there at the end. But uh, at the end of last episode, I think we finished up in the afternoon. It started raining shortly after I ended the episode and it rained until it was dark so it's not like we could have done a lot more then anyway so now we're in December it's winter time my door open and I left the tractor out in the rain overnight oh well <laughs> gates open too Huh. So check on the cows. Oh, we'll definitely have milk tomorrow. I think we sold some yesterday. About every other day we should be able to sell milk first thing in the morning. Uh, Feed-wise, they could possibly use a little. I don't know how quickly they're getting through it. But we've been talking about going and getting a uh, feed mixer, so we're going to go do that. The canola looked good. This is the oil seed radish, our catch crop, just to give us a fertilizing state. And then our uh, winter wheat's over here growing. I don't know if these are weeds at the very edge or a bush. Greenhouse. I've got it uh, turned off for the winter, so December. January and February, we'll have it turned off. We'll turn it back on in March to start uh, producing our lettuce and tomatoes, our vegetables again. But in the interest of playing realistic-ishly, uh, we'll have it off throughout the winter. We've got wheat we need to sell. We'll have to check the prices on that. Why don't I throw a straw bale in here? I gotta remember to use up these uh, straw bales that I had to put away when it was raining. Gotta remember to use them first. So yeah, it's winter time. I gotta remember to kind of keep things moving along. You know, I'll just wander around and run my mouth and think and talk about stuff and it won't be very engaging to watch. So I gotta remember to keep things moving. I like to organize this, get these boxes out of the way off to the side. So yeah, without further ado, let's uh, let's head up to the store, get that feed mixer then. Mm -hmm. 
So on my PlayStation 5 this morning, it had, you know, one, well, maybe you don't know if you're not a console gamer. It has kind of like a game page, and it'll go through, like, news for the game. It'll also have, like, recently posted videos that uh, people on PlayStation have, have put up on the PlayStation. I don't know. Uh, and sometimes they're linked to a YouTube video. Maybe I should <laughs> look into that. <laughs> uh, expand my reach a little bit. But there was uh, a guy on a Brazilian map, and it looked really good. Uh, and he had a lot of equipment that was, you know, Brazilian styled equipment. So back in FS19, I did a Brazil Let's Play. It was a lot of fun. Uh, the reason I've stayed away from it in FS22 is that we don't have the uh, Brahma breed of cow anymore, which my experience in South America was the cows. I was used to seeing in South America and Brazil and Northern South America. Uh, so, going. Ah, <laughs> oh, it didn't happen, did it? It just happened. This, uh, <laughs> this Z Tour doesn't have a very good uh, acceleration from a standstill. T25 actually does. Anyway, that's why I've uh, steered away from the uh, Brazilian maps on FS22. Uh, initially, a lot of the mods weren't available. And then the, it just doesn't seem right, the cows, to me. But... Anyway, that's neither here nor there. We're up here for a feed mixer. Pokaż mi swoje towary. Yeah. I uh, called about the feed mixer. So these are what I was looking at. The KT10's what we borrowed. I was thinking about the Mini 2.5. Uh, which goes on the back, but because none of my um, tractors have front weights or the ability to, you know, front three-point link or the ability to, you know, add weights to the front of it, um, I think this would be too heavy when it's full. And it's deceptively larger than it appears. It holds 2,500 liters, which isn't that much. This is the one we're going to get. We're going to keep the BKT. We're going to go with the wides. We're going to have all the decals. We're going to keep that the same. We're going to buy it. Thank you. It push you out the door as soon as you make your purchase. So here it is. PTO hookup, so it's gonna discharge from the rear. The other one discharged from the right side. It would be nice to have one that was left side that you could back in. The right side you could drive in forwards and still do it. But this is what we're gonna have to go with because I can't put weights on the front of this. Well, I probably could figure out a way to do it. I think while I'm up here, I'm going to grab some gas on the way back. So anyway, I like doing maps that are centered in like a region and use uh, equipment that fits the map kind of thing. That's why I like this, uh, the old Polish farm and using the Eastern European type equipment. This gives it a look. Uh, I did try to do the same thing 
worked with Brazil back in FS19. Uh, and who knows, maybe I'll do that in the future again. Certainly motivated a little bit to do it after seeing that guy's video and some of the... I wish I knew what map he, he was on, but the terrain and everything looked really good. The models, everything looked really nice. Alright, so we're going to grab some fuel, go the far one. Be polite. Which one is it? I think this one. Oh, wow, that filled fast. Okay. All right. Didn't even have time to get out. All right, I'm going to come up here to try and avoid another collision. All right. It was clear this way when I... They appear just out of view when you look away. <laughs> Amazing. So, we're going to need the T25 with the bucket. Got the bucket here, so I'm going to drop the pallet forks off and pick the bucket up. for a minute. Get up here. So, let's see. These bales, I think, are 600. Yep, 600. So, it holds 2,500. So, two of those is 1,200. And then top it off with, no wait, we're going to put it in a straw to pad it, but they're 500. So that'd be 1200, 1700, and then would it be enough silage to make a good mix? You want like, What are these? These are your 400. Okay. So six and four would be a thousand. And then a thousand of silage. And then 500 of this is 2,500. You got 50 50 
mix of this and then pad it out with that should work let's do that so a 600 hay you think I can get it in there nope <laughs> it's like uh, playing basketball on the Ohio farm Oh, did I get it? I did. Nice. And then one of these. Okay, so there's 400 in there. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, so what I need to do is I need to pull up the help help window or what do they call it I'm bring that up okay help windows up there's way too much straw way too little hay which is weird because it's 500 to 400 doesn't make sense uh oh probably because of the ratio okay let's see what this does that's better but yeah there's still too much straw because we haven't put any salad in yet so we should Oh, I missed. That's why it didn't go in. Okay. All right. I thought it went in. All right, so we want to get a thousand. How much does the bucket hold? Seven hundred and fourteen, that's an odd number, but okay. So this should turn it to TMR. Come out a little since not high enough, there we go. What So that's good TMR right there. Yeah, I've never used mineral feed. Probably because it's just, I don't know, I'm afraid I put too much in. And I don't think it really does anything. Not like, uh, what is it? Uh, the bond silage, silage additive, that supposedly gives you a better yield, but adding mineral feed to your TMR doesn't actually change anything. It's more immersive. I guess we could do it, I suppose. So it doesn't say how much is in there. Okay. So yep, twenty five hundred. Perfect. this Turn it on. So we got 40, 40, 20. That's perfect. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Get it 
are all nice and mixed up. get the trigger to come up will be good oh, there we go Oof. I thought it wasn't going to come up and get behind it we can see what's going on here that's the stuff right there that's perfect That's exactly what we wanted to accomplish there. Now this... mixer wagon apparently requires uh, 30 horsepower I think and our uh, old Z Tour the 25k has got I think 25 horsepower I'm parked right in front of the doors aren't I yep okay <laughs> Wasn't thinking. Put this away. We need to check the price for wheat. December is the best time to sell it. I think. So, this will be around the time to sell it. We'll just try and achieve a price at or better than the historical high if we can. So let's check on the check see what the sale price is on wheat here wheat 792 at osada oh that's going to be better right we'll have to pay for the train though that's interesting so 732 is the historical high that's that's interesting what So yeah, we need to go get it to the train station and sell that. Oh, let's just park this over here for now. Boy, what are we gonna do for the rest of December though? Feed the cows and sell milk. could drive just using the mirrors that would be impressive but I don't think I can do it all right so we're backing this up underneath here 
I guess this is the second time we've used our silo. Put the weed in it. I'm gonna hop out and close this so we don't leave anything open while we're away. Although it is pretty safe here. So we are going to the train station, which is kind of up by the machinery store. Offload this and send it up to Osada and sell it. Oh, that's awful bold of you. Oh, come on. somebody on vacation from California looks like they were gonna go and then they stop right in front of me and block your <laughs> block your way okay you gotta be careful don't want to insult viewers right So yeah, we're sitting at 45,000 euros right now. This will get us close to 8,000 euros maybe. the machinery store across the railroad tracks and turn left we're on tip side right so we should be good to go Just follow along through here Tip it into the side. Whoop. Tip it into the silo. There we go. here see you got snow in the forecast I think you call the train from here I should pull up the help window Let's see when it's gonna come oh but it'll say it down here by where did I call it Okay, I do have it. It's 2.3 kilometers away. That's not close at all. Uh, oh, so while we wait, so recently the uh, next or the latest DLC for the uh, FS22 came out. I've been meaning to buy the season pass so I can get the stuff, but I was not particularly enthralled by the Gawile pack, and I don't know if I'll be too crazy about the, uh, what is it, hay and forage pack or whatever it is. I gotta take a look at 
the reviews of it and see what the stuff is. It seems like really niche kind of stuff, sort of like the Alpine DLC and the Erlengrat map, which I suppose if you're into that kind of stuff, that'd be absolutely awesome. You know, sort of like I like this, you know, I like this Eastern European Polish map. Well, I like some of the other Eastern European maps too. This kind of it's an interesting style, or like I was talking earlier, like the Brazil kind of thing. It would be neat if they had like a Brazil pack or a Polish pack. Um, but I guess that's where the modders come in. Oh, wasn't expecting it from that direction. <laughs> Okay. I'm uh, not really savvy on how to operate a train. We gotta bring it up here. We're we're on the second car. Let's get to the first car. Get it under there. I think... I think this is open cover. Nope. Nope. That one. Let's put the weed in. Oh, I'm sure it's done by now, right? Uh, what was the cover? That one? No, nope. that one. <laughs> Sometimes it helps to have the help menu open. Hence the... Hence the term, I suppose. Alright, so we're going to take this off to... 0 Osada. I guess I should go to this side. There's a church up on the hill. And we should get kicked out right around here. Sell it. 8,211. Okay. Okay, so I'm back here at the train station. Or the, whatever, the railroad silo. I think it's got a different name, but... Because, realistically, I wouldn't have driven the train off. I would have just dropped it off. Had it loaded in and sent it on its way. So we're sending 53,678 euros. Doesn't say euros, does it? Now it does. Oh, that's terribly embarrassing when I forget to change the units of measure. Lag of attention detail, I apologize difficult when you're switching back and forth between save games on a European map and a US map. Well, it's almost noon. I can't believe that I have drugged this out this long. <laughs> I think I'm going to apologize for that because I'm going to come back in December 2 and there's not going to be anything to do. Or December 3. And I'm going to essentially have had an episode of nothing but my and feeding and on some wheat. Wow, we were going. This truck likes to go.
know, I could have backed up a little more, I think, but it's all right. Sort of back in. Well, we could probably do with buying some more fertilizer, so maybe that's something we can do in the next episode. I'm gonna go in the house. I don't think anything much else is gonna to happen today. I'll keep an eye on news machinery, see if something shows up. But other than that, it's not like we're gonna have contracts or anything to do. It's been December now. We got some snow overnight. I don't think there was any accumulation though. I got the window here. Nah, I can't even tell. If, uh, looks like there's a little bit of frost on the ground. I was able to drag early December out for nearly 40 minutes <laughs> see what I can do with mid-December I'm sure there's not much going on it's a uh, door <sighs> it's it's certainly a little colder I did finally get myself a little bundled up that sweatshirt wasn't cutting it anymore Morning. Really got to work on my Polish. Uh, we should have milk to sell this morning. I'll check, see where the best price is. Um, I think for lack of anything else to do, maybe we'll just mix up another uh, mixer wagon of feed just to keep the food up a little higher give us something to do um yeah well let's check the animals everything looks pretty good i mean food's not great but if we throw a mixture in every day i think that's what they're consuming um i might as well just bring a straw bale over Take the uh, the Z Tour Turbo just because it's quicker and it's cold. It's got a cabin. I think the dairy. I was looking last night at the price. The dairy had the best price for um, milk. But we'll double check it. Probably should turn that light off. I didn't. That's all right. Well, I have this out. I think I'll move some of those boxes around. I won't make you watch that. Go buy some fertilizer too. Let me 
check see where the best price is for milk now. Oh, it's Targ now. Okay. electricity. Can't believe it didn't open the door. Alright. Off the targ. Morning milk delivery. Uh, that's a hearty individual there. Walking around and December with shirt sleeves. I tell you, the milk is a money maker. Think about the wheat. We had wheat off of two small fields. We made 8,000 euros for it yesterday or the beginning, beginning of December. Every, and so that's like once a year. Every two days, is it? We're making 2,000 euros selling milk. So on three-day months, that means that we've got um, 36 days, quote-unquote, in a year. Um, so 18 of those were... Yeah, that's 36,000 euros per year just selling milk. Which is four times what we made off of the wheat fields. I think it just goes to show you that you got to be diversified to be successful in farming. You can't just rely on one thing. I mean, you can't really rely on just the milk because you need straw for the bedding. You need, uh, silage and hay to make the, uh, total mixed ration. I'm going to try using the old Z-Tor with the, uh, feed mixer. bar would work. I was not expecting that to be a problem. Okay. The draw bar might work on it.
well, let's try it. I think I put the drawbar in the shed over here. PTO's not hooking up though. Yeah. Okay. I guess that's not gonna work. That's not working out the way I wanted it to at all, but I'd kind of hope to use the old Z-Tor for the uh, feed mixer, but it doesn't look like that's going to be happening. I couldn't put the... Uh, non-trailed version on it because it's too heavy and I can't use the trailed version because it doesn't hook up Gonna use that old tractor for nowadays. Just gotta find a place to put it out of the way, I guess. up good I think um, yeah now I just need to get some solid in there I think uh, get done with this I think I'll probably straighten up the inside of that shed a little bit Good. I should turn around and drive forward to get back around as much as I am sometimes oh brakes Twenty-five. Likes to get going. 
There we go. Darkish. Okay, I think uh, what we need like another 300. How to do it? Careful so I don't get the chaff that's outside. Well, I guess we got a full load. Yep, I did the backing. I'll back the whole way. So we got good money right now. I was thinking about, oh yeah, dent the new baby mixer. I was thinking about buying some land, but. I probably ought to just hang on to the money until either something good comes up and use equipment, which, I don't know, we really don't need anything. Just can't think of what we need. Well, we need a bigger plow. We leased it last time, didn't we? Um, but wait till somebody puts a crop in and then buy the land with the crop in it because with the harvest. Yeah earn some of the money back to uh, pay for the land as opposed to buying it with nothing in it. There we go. I was wondering if the trigger was going to come up. Yeah, winter time. Really, all we have to do is take care of the cows, watch, watch the uh, use the machinery sale, and uh, sell milk. That's about all we got to do. I was going to go buy fertilizer. I can do that tomorrow. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to spend some time. Moving stuff around the shed here. You don't necessarily have to watch that. It's like crawl all over the T25. So it's just a little later in the day on December 2. I've done some reorganization here in this shed over here. So I've moved the, the Z-Tor 25K over to the far left, kind of more in the workshop area. I'm really not sure what we can use this tractor for though. Not much, which is a shame. So the T25 has moved to the center and it's got all its front loader tools. Uh, they're available for it. The uh, boxes that were here and the Euro crates have uh, moved over to the side over here. And then the milk trailer is back where it was before. The uh, pallet forks for the T25 did not 
like these crates or the box at all. So I'm just, I'm not pleased with the pallet forks on this. Uh, well, it's just not very easy to use. And we've got the our new feed mixer. Is in, we'll probably keep it in here with the cows. It's not going to hurt anything there, and it's a good spot for it. Oh, but the main reason I brought you back was I said I'll keep an eye on used equipment. Look at what showed up. The Santana 88. It's uh, almost 60% off. So 20,000 euros, which is most of the money we have. If it were any other Let's Play, I would probably buy it. But since money is at a premium and it serves no real functional purpose for us, I'm going to have to say thanks, but no thanks. Got snow in the forecast for later in the day. I think we'll save going and buying some fertilizer for tomorrow. It's gonna be a long December. It's gonna be a long cold winter. So we'll check back in with you. I'll see you in late December, I think.